Welcome to Grandma Lita's story time. I'm sending you great thoughts and smiles. I have another story for you today, and it's called The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. So I'll be standing up so I can um, show you the pages of the book. Okay, The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. Once there was a tree And she loved a little boy. See the little boy's foot there? And every day the boy would come. And he would gather her leaves. And make them into crowns and play like king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches. Look at his feet. And eat her apples. You see those apple cores? And they would play hide and seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree. He's giving him a Big hug right there. Big tree hug. Very, very much. And the tree was happy. But time went by. Looks like he's getting bigger. And the boy grew older. The tree was often alone. Then one day, the boy came to the tree. Oops, let me fix that. Okay. The boy came to the tree, and the tree said, Come, boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. Look at his feet up there, climbing up the tree. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy, and she said, Come, boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I am too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife, and I want children, and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my home. But you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches 
and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered. Come and play. I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. After a long time, the boy came back again. I am sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. I hope you enjoyed that book. I thought it was really, really sweet. I'll be reading to you another day, another time, and another book. In the meantime, you stay happy and keep enjoying. And I'm sending you a little love. Here's a little rock I painted. It says, love. Bye-bye.